All right, guys, we're back out here now. We're going to test the uh, waterproof nature of the uh, uh, flashlight. Streamlight says that this is waterproof to one meter for 30 minutes. So what I've got here is I've got my pool. It's a saltwater pool. And uh, I've got a little bit more than a meter's length of uh, paracord here that I've tied it to. I've got this rod. I'm going to toss it in here, and uh, we're going to do a little flashlight fishing, I guess. The uh, length of the uh, paracord here is more than one meter. I wanted to make sure that uh, I took into account any airspace between the water surface and the edge of the pool. And uh, plus, you know, a little bit extra. If it's going to be waterproof at, uh, uh, at one meter, it should be fine at uh, a few inches over that. So, uh, as you can see, it's already a little wet. I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to hold up here before I turned on the video. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to toss this in the water. And there it goes. And right now I've got 521 p.m. Wednesday, September 3rd. So we're going to set this for 30 minutes, come back out here and uh, pull it up see what happens. All right, guys, it's been more than uh, 30 minutes now. In fact, it's uh, 6.04, still Wednesday, of course, September 3rd. So it's been in, uh, in there closer to about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull this up. And you can see, it still runs. Let's uh, dry it off here. Doesn't appear to be any water penetration inside the lens area here. Actually, there may be just a little bit. Just a little bit. But as you can see, it's still running good. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Now, the IPX standards um, actually allow for water penetration as long as it doesn't impede the effectiveness. Um, I'm not seeing any water. It's a little shiny from the uh, Duracell uh, packaging here on these batteries, but I'm not feeling any any moisture or anything. Not seeing any moisture in there. I don't know if the uh, camera's going to be able to see it or not. Not seeing or feeling anything in the body area. No, not a bit of penetration. Now, like I said, there does appear to be a little bit of water couple of real small droplets have gotten in here and it looks like they've kind of formed one larger droplet over here on the side now since I've been wagging it along. Yeah, a little bit of water got in there. But like I said, the IPX standard actually allows for water to penetrate as long as it still works. Now, if you think about it, this is not designed to be a dive light. This is designed to be a uh, tactical flashlight for law enforcement, security, military, something that you might have for home defense, uh, you keep on your nightstand for uh, any time you got to check out anything. Also an excellent work light, especially if you're doing any kind of outside work where you've got a long reach of anything. Um, this is going to be uh, excellent for that. Notice none of those things you're expected to be underwater for 45 minutes. Okay, we've had this down at one meter for longer than the 30 minutes that they say it's good for. Still runs good. And I bet you I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dab this uh, water out of here, and I bet you this thing runs for years to come.